let's create 3D Chrome text in Adobe Illustrator. Since a lot of you can't access the 3D options in Photoshop, we made a 3D Chrome video in Illustrator. Here I have kept my document size to 1920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 300. Now let's start by selecting the type tool and type the word. Then select the text by pressing Ctrl plus A. Now for the font, we are using CS Booster font, and for the font size, we'll keep it to 430 points. Now let's select the selection tool and center align the text. If you can't find the align panel here, you can go in Window, Align, and you will get this panel. Make sure Align to Artboard is enabled, then click on Horizontal and Vertical Align Center. Now, let's double click on the fill option and we'll enter this hex code then click on OK, and we'll get this gray color on our text. Now, let's go in Window, 3D and Materials. You will get this 3D panel. Click on Inflate, and make sure Inflate both sides is ticked. Now in Materials section, set the Roughness to 0.35, and Metallic to 1. Then in Lighting section, set Intensity to 80%, and Ambient Light Intensity to 60%. Now, click on Color Swatch and set the color of your choice, and click on OK. Then drag the light to the center of the sphere, like so. Now click on the plus icon and create a new light. Keep the intensity to 80% and click on the Color Swatch and set the color of your choice. Set your second light to the top right of the sphere. We'll go in the Color Swatch and adjust the color a bit. Then we'll copy the hex code from Color Picker and then create a new light and in the Color Picker, paste the hex code. Then set its intensity to 80%. Set the third light to the left side of the sphere. And now we are done with our chrome look. You can adjust the colors and position of the light until you are satisfied with the output. Once you're done, let's create the background. Select the Rectangle tool and create a rectangle covering the whole artboard. Now go in Window, Gradient. You will get this panel here. Now we'll click on Freeform Gradient and click on the arrow to hide the panel. Then we'll click Control plus Open Bracket to move the background layer below the text layer. Now let's work on the color. Open the Gradient panel again. Now take your cursor to the top left color point and drag it and place it here on the corner. To change the color, click here on the fill and set the color to match the chrome text. Do the same for the bottom left point. Now to create extra points, just right click on the artboard where you want the point to be and change the color. We'll create few extra points and set the color to match the vibe of our text. We'll even use the color picker to select colors instead of manually setting the color. Make sure to deselect the color picker once you're done picking the color. Once you are satisfied, select the Selection tool and click on the background and go to Layers and lock the rectangle background so we don't move it by mistake. Now let's create and add some fillers. To do so, we'll duplicate the text by holding Alt and dragging. Then select the Type tool and click on the duplicate text and press Ctrl plus A to select all and press Asterisk key. Then select the Selection tool and change the font to Black Tuesday. The link to both of these fonts are given in the description below. Then place it like so, and make few duplicates, and play with the size and rotation. And here we are done. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hope you got to learn something new. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.